six months back, a very huge big tree. Boom, fell in the top of our Indranagar school. In total school was struck. Then I waited around six months down the line to get some funds. And then, not the big one, but a little more smaller one, we were able to reconstruct it back. And then we put that, uh, what called, cut block as uh, kind of uh, concrete blocks which can uh, take in water so groundwater will be rechecked we put it I was very happy the those of us and we didn't put the partitions we removed the partitions so children can never mm, sit in a circle and study partitions we have to get off uh, something about collapsible partitions so that functions also children or evening time children can run around and play. <laughs> And uh, suddenly from BDA one, Mr. Nai came with his um, what, uh, with his marshals and said, no, you cannot run the school over here. <laughs> this is a disputed land. And, uh, where you are, you go and sit in that place. But we were there from last time in Bangalore City for 38 years, <laughs> running the school, helping the people. Yes. In fact, we did not ask anybody for funds for the reconstruction of the damaged buildings that was one when i came back to devina Heli, i was so happy that my last uh, asbestos sheet of my cows donated cows that was full of leaking and kalavadi cow is the most lovable cow everybody loves her again she's going on 10 12 babies and still she's happily enjoying it. And any baby cow comes here, I love her, everybody to do no cat. <laughs> She's huge, eh? and anybody can go and hug her, she won't do it. <laughs> but she wants to eat a lot. So Kalavadi's shed was in bad condition. Today we got the sheets done back the next morning. Next, my primary school is in bad condition and needs to do it. And from the last one or two months, I was thinking maybe I never went out. Because the workers were doing the work, I told them to do it. But the workers doing and you going and doing is different. And last two days I was going, I found quite a lot of <laughs> grass and all uh, grown. If I was there, I won't allow anything. And yesterday my, my staff, they did the work and they forgot to plant. Today I call all the students. Before the International Yoga Day practice, I call everybody come. In 10 minutes, we are able to finish. Children and we get involved. Things get very fast. <laughs> Vishnu Purana. When man does not cherish any sinful feelings towards creatures and looks on all with an equal eye, he then finds everything full of pleasure and delight. Yes, creatures. Mahatmadi kept on telling the culture of the people is known by the way they treat the animals. The Sanskrit. And the, when you walk in the street, my Japanese friends is tell me, the dogs look so ferocious and attacking because the, by the way you look, you know, the people are also become, are ferocious. They are not friendly. So the friendly nature has to be built up in India because all this was given to the world on so the means of yoga, what we do is the creatures is very, very important. Yes. Looking at them and then smiling at them. When man does not cherish any sinful feeling towards creatures and looks at all with an equal eye, yes. And look at a lively thing, whether it is plant or animal. I try my level best to talk to all the uh, birds and animals and speak the language. I used to go and talk to my ducks and the geese and quack, 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 quack. And they also say quack, 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 quack. And they also speak to me. My turkeys also speak to me. It's, it's big fun. It's a really fun, actually. It's a fun and happiness. I take my car and drive the village. And I see any dogs at the village. I slow down and say, boo, boo, boo. And all the people go, oh, somebody. Otherwise, they'll not think of this song. So you create some kind of an energy, let it be any energy. And uh, basically, you feel more calm and quiet. Lakshmi English was telling, 
that uh, one girl in Indranagar, she's the one who is creating all this trouble. She wanted to take your, forcefully take your school. <laughs> you put my blind students with, take your, take the school. And uh, she's going around and complaining to everybody. That land belongs to her, to the, to the, to us, and we should have the residence association to have it. I told Lakshmi, just leave it. She's a poor young girl, whatever she talks, why you wanted to make meaning out of it. I will face it. My life is to face. In fact, we have been taught to fight minimum till the last member in the, in the fighting arena. Yes. And every day is a fight without spilling blood into the dojo. We don't come out. Nowadays, that is not there. It's all techniques and polished body. And so basically, God has given us the body. And the body has to be cleansed. And the cleansing is, you feel it is a fighting. Somebody is attacking you. No, no, nobody is attacking you. You have to cleanse it. When you become strong, then nobody comes and attacks you. When man does not cherish any sinful feeling towards creatures, looks on all with an equal eye. This, what's the problem? I told Lakshmi Rinkadish, I, I left home when they did not like me. <laughs> I left to Kushin Karate, yes, because there was indifferences built up after uh, Sosai Masu Mas death in Japan. I started the blind school. What do people want? They want my school. They take it and move out. <laughs> I'm not a person to hold on, but I will not, I will not go without a fight because I am here to fight for my children. Now I have children. Those days I didn't have children. So many children are around me. And it is my duty also. When God has given me something, he will always send quite a lot of people in Devanali when we got the land. Immediately, some people came and said, return the land back in 20 days time, otherwise we'll forcefully take it off. I said, no. No, many political leaders came and told me, please give it up. Don't rub shoulders with those people. They are big gundas in the society. I said, I do not know about gundas and gundas. God has given me this land for my children. If I do not know to fight for this land, God will not give me more for taking more children. So it's my duty. How will I stand and watch if my child has been dragged and raped and I sit like a Swamiji and said, God will take her? No, no. I will be the last person. I will finish him. <laughs> so fight, nobody should feel fight is a bad thing because any fight is a creative fight and it's all for the good. <laughs> Throughout my life, there was fight, so there's nothing wrong. Purana says, when man does not cherish any sinful feeling towards creatures and looks on all with an equal eye. Everyone fight equal eye. When you look at everybody is an equal eye and everybody is throwing something, you shouldn't feel bad about them. They are throwing to find out how much you can defend, how much you can grow, whether you, you are a coward to turn around and run. Yes. <laughs> Those are the things. Just now, Armugam called me and said, one girl from Indranagar Residence Association, and Nandini Kindini, she called and said, oh, we wanted to take over Rakum school and we want to make a, what do you call it? A ground, not in a ground. There are so many land lying down. The land which we cleaned up, which they were cleaned up and the immediate residence association came and told me, I spent around 10 or 20,000, I don't know, to clean up the land. And then the residence association, no, 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 allow our children also to play. And we allowed their children also to play, and the children were dirtying the whole land. Immediately, the neighborhood um, mafia, land mafia guys, they came forcefully to court. These people didn't do anything. <laughs> they're not able to understand. They're not able to fight with the mafias. They're coming and fighting with me. That only little of my children who are playing that, they want to grab it. So I told Lakshmi Venkatesh, uh, why? What is bothering? <laughs> I'm not bothering. Let them send a notice. We'll reply to them. And man does not cherish any sinful feelings towards creatures and looks on all with an equal eye. I don't uh, divide them with Brahmana, Shatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. Yes. I don't divide them with an Hindu, Christian, Muslims. Yes. For me, it is my people. My people has got a lot of tensions going on. And why should I fight with them? <laughs> They might, they might be using me as a shock absorber. So what? My children also used it. 
you have to learn we drag the children from kindergarten to post graduation yes got the merit yes we are still writing good good exams civil service exams people may be talking about jealousy and all people are jealous about your children growth or something like that might be there because some people when my children walk in the residence or social media they used to speak to my children and shout at them and all that and all happened i don't know now it will happen because in indranagar what i heard is not a single house will go to sleep without picking a share for up and still that is a duty with this that is happening in at least one or two houses still is better he then finds everything full of pleasure and delight so when you look at equality and you don't find good or bad coming to you good or bad but who am i to decide whether old clothes coming or new clothes coming to my school i don't make a difference people ask me what kind of rice you want i say yeah, anything we do not have a menu we cannot even do my children can eat anything they do not know what's the difference what ice creams they like i said they, they do not know what it is they wanted uh, vanilla or pista any ice cream ice cream is ice cream for them so love is love for the for the children of my country because huge amount are still suffering some of some must have got good durable houses which is costing in crores so they want to come in unless it is <laughs> it is not their problem it is their circumstances we are not Mm, worried about it mm, we worry about my children's next meet when uh, madhavi kutti went to australia for the women's liberation movement or, or program and every women from many, many parts of the country many parts of the world came and they tell men were not satisfying us men were not giving us pleasures or this and that all all the talks and then uh, when madhavi kutti got a chance she got up her name is kamala das so uh, she is a poetess she got up and said in our country we have no time to think about men pleasure men are satisfying us we are worried about our children's stomach <laughs> you western countries have already made enough money and so you can talk about that so my situation is, is that i am worrying about my children's stomach and their studies not about who is trying to grab my property what if they grab they want to make a playground and play let them play they can play inside my room or inside my children's uh, place also it is not a problem we worry about my children's stomach not about the other fights other fights my people are with me they will fight for it purana vishnu purana says when man does not cherish any sinful feelings towards creatures and looks and all with an equal eye he then finds everything full of pleasure and delight that was our pleasure and delight <laughs>